Yeah, chopped me up a big old tater boy and uh, soaked it up with that Cajun seasoning, man, really good. And then reused that old frog grease. Let it get another another time around. Got these going here, and then I set my condiments up all over here in advance. Check it out. So I got my very important condiment here to go with it. Water burger, spicy ketchup. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the top quality fine dining condiment that you have for your fried potatoes out here on this Texas farm. Water burger, spicy ketchup. Man, that is some good stuff right there. Someone throw me a little mustard on there with them as well. Do any of y'all eat mustard with french fries? Tell me if you do. I never, I never did most of my life. And just a few years ago, I decided that I like mustard with french fries. And man, I, I eat them all the time with it now. And of course, I'm gonna set me some jalapenos to the side. Got me a jar, of these Mount Olive jalapeno slices. And uh, what kind of good Tejasian would I be if I didn't have me some jalapenos? Y'all know I love them, boy. So there it is, I got my jet fuel ready and I saved the lovely Miss Melinda some over to the side in a bowl in case she might want some of these larif and terrapin fried taters right here. Mm. Sit out here with the lovely little Melinda. You already had your coffee, huh? Mm, I'm gonna sit down and eat this breakfast. Man, just, just look how beautiful. How y'all like those uh, cedar poles that I did on my front porch here a few years ago? I cut these right back out here in the field. Look what a beautiful day here. Look what a beautiful day. Yeah, I hate to run you out of your little shade tree, but you gotta move. Let's move on. You ain't a carabao. You ain't an ox. Get out of there. Alright, so we are going to try to pick out a cow to keep up to milk. And uh of course she's gonna to have to be a cow with a calf that she's giving milk right now. And uh I've got three young calves here, so that means I got three cows that I can choose from right now. And I had one picked out the other day, 
And I thought, well, I'll give the calf a few days, suck on her, and get all that colostrum, you know. Well, then today when I went out and I was going to get her up and separate her from the herd, I saw this other cow with a calf that uh, her udders looked a whole lot better as far as the size of her udder, the teats are uh, more evenly sized and all than this one cow. So also is what's gonna matter is how gentle the nature of that cow. The, the other cow could have a better nature. But lo and behold, I think the cow that I wanted is one of them that didn't come into the lot that's on the other side of the fence. <laughs> Mel and I, we might be able to get around her now because she's wanting to her calf. And I got him pinned up, so I could probably walk her in now, I'm hoping. No, you think maybe you might be able to walk over that fence and try to drive her in that lot right down there? Yeah, it's open down there. Maybe you could just get around her and get her to come into that lot. I want to get where I can put my hand on her and I can tell by her reactions that she's kind of wild or she's going to be real bossy. Her? She seems more gentle, doesn't she? That's her calf right there. This one? Huh? Oh, her calf's with her. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Step up there and see if you can get that calf back. Yeah, she's running that calf back. She said, you do not belong to me. Boy, can you believe this grass has grown this much already? <laughs> Boy, she's got one dirty butt covered in fire ants, huh? Look at her. She's trying to turn around in there. I'm not actually trying to milk this cow right now. If y'all like, man, look at that dirty, nasty cow with crap all over her butt and everything. No, we're not trying to milk her right now. It's not even a safe spot to be reaching down there right now. I'm, I'm checking out attitude, demeanor, you know, not just their other size and possible milk production, but I'm checking that attitude. Are they gonna be wild? Is this cow gonna hurt me? Or can she easily settle down? And uh, you know, we treat her all the time with feed and stuff, if uh, little treats, if she's gonna be pretty good. So that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna get down here some business in, see how she acts when I touch her tits. Like that. Yeah. Well, she wanted to kick. Yeah. Yeah. So we made it. She's gonna be upset with that calf. Shh. Help! 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 Be ready to pull one of those boards. See if that bottom one will come out right now. We decided. We decided to not uh, keep this cow. I'm gonna get out of the way. We decided that we're not gonna keep a, a cow to milk from this herd. These cows here, like I said, they've not been manhandled like uh, like these cows at the other two properties. I'm better off to get one out of the herd across the street that we pamper all the time and talk to them all the time and choose one from there. So I think we're gonna pass up uh, Pulling one of these cows. Boy, some fine looking little calves though. For real. So Mel, I think uh 
I think tomorrow we need to haul these back over to that other property. Well, ah, dog, and plus she is like a water fountain. Who want to get in the back end of that business? <laughs> Ooh, man.